Hello! Today I'm going to make another super quick make. It's a, a nice codigan, cardigan of this very lightweight jersey fabric. You just need this and some kind of jumper or something to measure from. So let's get started. So this is a end of roll kind of remnant piece that I bought. So um, I'm just trying to use, uh, use it as well as I can. So I'm folding it up once and folding it twice here. So it's got a fold here and a fold here. And I'm going to try to use the fold up here as well for the shoulder point to not cut off too much. And I've decided I want the stripes to go down vertical on me. And maybe I should have ironed this before, but I'm gonna iron it later. So perhaps this will be more like a kimono type uh, cardigan. Let's see what it ends out with. I have a jumper here that I folded and placed with the fold of the jumper on the fold of the fabric here and then I'm just going to place the sleeves like this and I can see I haven't folded it completely right there's a little bit more there so I have my jumper I'm going to measure from going to fold that up so the fold of the jumper is aligned with the fold of the fabric there and then I can't I can't move the sleeve up properly but I'm just going to try to do it like this and that's basically how I'm going to do it so my sleeve opening here I'm going to try to keep because I want it kind of narrow not too wide I'm going to mark approximately a centimeter and a half from the sleeve then when I get to the body, I'm going to give it a bit more space. So I will mark the line here and that's not very, uh, very straight, but that will be fine. And then you can see here, because it's an end of roll piece, I just need to cut off this bit of uh, fabric where it's been glued. cardigan here. I'm going to take off the jumper. I'm going to just cut a little bit more away here so it's a bit more straight at the bottom. And then when we open up here you can see we have the shoulder seams ready but we need to make a neck opening and some kind of opening on the front. So I'm just going to put this back in and turn it around. Now I'm going to cut only through one layer of fabric, not both of them. So put one off to the side here. Only going to cut through one. And I'm going to cut here just where the stripes meet at the center. All the way up to the fold. That means open it we have somewhere where we can put it on here but I'll just now fold these two front pieces and I will cut a bit more off couple of centimeters and then I'm going to round it here. You can see my fold of fabric was up here so I'm going to round it so I get a nice curve and then end up here with the fold. And then this will simply be my neck opening. But first we have our one sleeve here our side seam. 
So I'm going to stitch down here and do the same for the other side so I have a cardigan that I can actually put on and off. So now the side seams, the sleeves are sewn together on both sides of this cardigan and I just ran my overlocker um, all the way down the, the bottom uh, edge. We had some remnants from yeah where we cut out here actually under the sleeves. I've cut two pieces of fabric, fabric that can turn into a tube that can then be folded so it fits and then it can go on the sleeve here. So we have a piece of fabric, it gets folded, stitched down here and then turned out to front and then attached to the sleeve. We've got the tube here for the cuff. We've got the piece here for the cuff, the tube that's been folded out to front and now it's going to be attached on the opening of the sleeve. So we put it on um, outside of the sleeve opening and then we have the two pieces of fabric for the tube and one piece of fabric for the sleeve and we're going to sew, sew through all of these three pieces of fabric all the way around making sure that we stretch the sleeve um, or st stretch the cuff fabric so we kind of get uh, an equal, equal amount of, uh, of, of gathering all the way around the sleeve opening. And this is what it looks like when it's been sewed on. You can see here inside all the three layers of fabric together. The bottom part of the cardigan I've just folded up as little as possible because I still want the cardigan as long as I can. Just fold it up maybe a centimeter with the fabric towards the back and then just stitching it on here um, on top of the, the serger seam. That could also be a zigzag seam if that's what you have. And then it's looking like this. All around the opening of the cardigan I've done this double hem. So I have the fabric, I fold it once um, maybe and half a centimeter and then fold it again and then makes a nice little roll I make that as narrow as I can and then I stitch on top of that it is a super easy and simple way of finishing a seam so here it is the finished cardigan what a nice and easy quick make it's lovely I hope you have fun making one for you